A warm welcome for Francois Hollande. Gone are the strains of a decade ago when France refused to support the Iraq war. This state visit comes at a high point in U.S.-French relations. But a low point in Mr. Hollande's personal life. His breakup with partner Valérie Trierweiler means he's come solo. This time there won't be any First Lady tours of the White House with Michelle Obama. The two ended their relationship after tabloid reports that the president was having an affair with a French actress. Dans sa vie personnelle, Mr. Hollande is trying to put the scandal behind him. A suddenly single president does present protocol challenges for the state dinner, the most formal gala event in Washington. Invitations had to be redone. Seating arrangements changed. It's always uh, nice and certainly easier for uh, seating both the president and first lady's tables if you could have the spouses, you know, seated on one side of the president and first lady. And unlike previous occasions, the iconic photograph won't be, well, quite as iconic. But even though there may be awkward moments, they're not expected to detract from issues of substance. Both leaders are keen to see this visit succeed. They've been highlighting their country's mutual friendship, even billing it as a model for international cooperation. And emphasizing historic ties by touring the estate of Thomas Jefferson, a founding father and former president who loved French culture. It is for us maybe one of the most French houses in America. In public, the two will likely focus on common causes, like foreign policy cooperation on Iran, Syria and North Africa. Mr. Hollande is also hoping his high-level visit will help boost domestic approval ratings, which have dropped over his handling of the economy. Barbara Plattasher, BBC News, Washington.